All right, so 2020 is behind us. 2021 is ahead of us. It could be a year of promise for a lot of you. For those of you who are looking to become a programmer, this could be the year that you can do it. So in this video, I really want to cover how to become a programmer in 2021 in this upcoming year. And I wanna approach it from a high level perspective. So to make it as general as possible, so no matter what path that you wanna go down, we're gonna cover it here. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. So the first thing that you wanna do before you start anything else, is you want to pick a path. So what that means is you want to spend at maximum one month figuring out what exact path you want to go down. In programming, there's so many different paths you can go down, right? You can go down web development, which I'm a web developer, I'm a full stack web developer. Even in web development, there's many different paths there. You can go with front end, you can go with back end, you can go full stack as well. There's software that you can write for hardware, so like robotics, that sort of thing. There are many different paths that you can go down. So the first thing you want to do is really spend some time and think about it. Now, you want to be very careful about this, right? Because I know some of you will take six months to figure it out. You'll read every Reddit forum, you'll watch every YouTube video on the subject, and you'll end up not doing anything. It will be your excuse to procrastinate. So set yourself a limit of one month and then just make the best decision from there. Now, once you've picked a path, then the most important thing is to create a plan for yourself, a game plan. If you do not create a game plan, what's going to happen is you're just going to buy some books, you're going to watch some courses, you're going to watch some tutorials, but you're not going to really know the big picture of where you're headed. So you've got to sit down and do the game plan. Now, before we proceed here, I just want to stop this video and ask you guys kindly, if you enjoyed this video thus far, go ahead and go down there and smash the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want more videos from me about how to become a programmer and how to make the transition into a new career. Let's get back into it now. The first part of any good game plan is to figure out what your study plan is. So you have to figure out what you're gonna be studying and when, and also how much time you're gonna be putting in, so creating some sort of schedule. So you, when you figure out your path, you have to sit down and figure out what are the big things you wanna learn on any given path. And if you're wondering what those are, depending on what you've chosen, you can easily find those resources. Again, I recommend YouTubing, figuring them out. For example, if you're getting into web development, say front-end web development, that's gonna start with HTML and CSS, and I'd say take maybe a month for that, then you move on to JavaScript, which will be the next three months of your learning, you'll go into frameworks after that, but that's just an example. A lot of people have recommendations out there, take a look at what they're recommending, and then just, again, create that plan for yourself and say the first month this is what I'm gonna be studying, the second month, the third month, here's what I'm gonna be focusing on. Once you figure out that high-level plan, then go down and figure out how you're going to study. So how many hours per day, how many hours per week are you gonna study? I recommend getting at least two hours a day minimum. And when I say two hours per day, I mean completely focused time, not half focus time where you're watching a YouTube video while you're you know, trying to code something. I mean, you're completely immersed in what you're doing. That's hours that count. And to make a schedule for yourself to say when you're gonna be studying, at what days, at what times, and make that a habit, right? So once you've got that done, what you wanna figure out is what projects you wanna build for your portfolio. Because now if you wanna get a job as a programmer, it's vital that you show companies what you've done in the past as far as a track record. So once you've spent about three months in the learning phase, so learning the syntax of a programming language, learning the different parts of a programming language that you can learn, then you wanna shift your attention into actually using that to build projects because it's not enough to know syntax. Syntax means nothing. Well, it's what you can do with the syntax. It's what projects you can build. So you wanna figure out minimum four applications you can build. You probably wanna shoot more for six, eight, 10, even 12 for some of you guys who need to get a lot of experience under your belt. And if you don't know any ideas or you have no ideas for projects, that's not a good excuse. Again, Google is your best friend for this. I'll even provide a link below here to a great repository that I found on GitHub. It has an entire list of projects from easy, medium to advanced. You can pick any of those. Those are all great options as well. So you have to figure out what projects you're gonna build. And again, make sure this is on paper. Don't let this just be in your head. You have to get all of this on paper so that you can stick to a plan. From there, let's say you've gone through the process of learning everything, you've built a bunch of projects, now you're ready to shift into the job hunt phase. So the first thing you wanna do is create a personal website for yourself. The website is gonna be something like yourname.com, right? In my case, anycircles.com, so that you can give this to people, you can show people your website and it should showcase all of your projects, right? So it should showcase every project, you should have a link to your GitHub for that, you should have a link to the actual working application if possible, you should have explanations of what that project is. It's to showcase you and to ultimately market yourself. Because if you're gonna get a job, you have to learn to market yourself. In other words, 
show who you are, like explain your story, explain why you're different, and also explain your skills, but without doing it in a boring or verbose way, right? So that's where the personal website can be really fun. You can make it look really nice. You can have interesting explanations for your applications. You can even make it a little bit uh, more, less formal than a resume or something like that. So your personal website comes from there. Then you wanna create your resume. You wanna make sure you have your LinkedIn all set and ready to go. And then you wanna start preparing for the technical interview process. And the preparing for the technical interview process usually takes a minimum of one month of your time. And depending on, again, what you're shooting for, or this could differ. Um, but once you've done that, then you want to get into the job hunt process, which means you're apl actively applying to jobs all the time. While you're still learning, maybe you're still building some projects, you're still preparing for the technical interview, you want to spend a majority of your time actually applying to jobs. And I recommend for people who are trying to actually job hunt at that point, you need to be getting at least 20 applications out there per month. And you need to be actively reaching out to recruiters. You need to actively be reaching out to people in your social network to see if you can get any references or referrals so you can have a leg up. So you're not just trying to get in through an application, you're also trying to get in through what we call the back door, right? So you're trying to reach out directly to maybe the hiring manager at some company so that you can bypass the application process. So this is the high level approach of how to become a programmer in 2021. One. This is every step of the process through the way that I've seen has helped many people to actually land a job, even for people who haven't gone to school, who haven't gotten that college degree. Because if you go through this, if you learn it really well, if you show your projects that you've done, if you build a personal website, if you really applied in the right way, that can put you in the driver's seat to actually get hired by a company and get that first job. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe as well. Other than that, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, peace out.